Happy Tuesday everyone! Today's story is The Yeti Who Can to Stay. Once Belly read a story that was exciting and a little bit scary about a creature called a Yeti who was smelly, tall and hairy. No one had ever seen it. They said it could never be found because all it left behind were footprints on the ground. Can we search for the Yeti? Billy begged his dad one day. I bet that we could find him and bring him back here to stay. Oh, all right, said dad with a sigh, if you really insist. But I have to tell you honestly, I don't think Yetis exist. Billy packed his bad backpack and set off with his dad. Have fun, said his mum, waving, thinking their plan was quite mad. They sailed across the sea, took a train and rode a bus. Bing, 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 went the bell. Dad said, this is a stop for us. At the top of a mountain, they found footprints in the snow. Follow me, Billy said to Dad. I know which way to go. At last they found the Yeti. He was huge and covered in fur. What's your name? asked Billy. The Yeti answered, Urgh. Oh, it's a lovely name, said Billy. I'm very pleased to meet you. But it's freezing here. I want to go home. Why don't you come too? Uh, replied the Yeti, smiling. Billy took that as a yes. But what the Yeti really said was anybody's guess. Back home, Mum was shocked and said, Oh dear, goodness me, I hadn't really thought about what a Yeti might eat for tea. The Yeti ate pretty much everything, even Brussels sprouts and peas. He didn't use a knife and fork or say, excuse me, thank you, or please. <gasps> oh dear. Billy didn't mind that his new friend slobbered and slurped <coughs> or that he snored all night, <coughs> smelled awful and often burped. <coughs> because the Yeti was so much fun, he wanted to play. He didn't really understand why people kept running away. The days passed by so happily and the two friends played together. They loved to go exploring and stayed out in all weather. The Yeti chased after Billy and bounced on the trampoline. Woohoo! shouted Billy giggling. <laughs> it was the highest he's ever been. The Yeti smiled all the time until one night it began to snow. He's missing his home, said Mum. It's time for him to go. So the Yeti went back home. Billy felt lonely every day. He really missed his friend and wished he hadn't gone away. Then one morning in the mail, a postcard dropped on the mat. Ugh, was all it said, and only a Yeti would write that. So Billy packed his suitcase and went to visit his best friend, and he was very sure their friendship would never end. The end.